materials to sustain the mission. Transmitting coordinates on Charybdis 3. End of message. Detected. Designated outsider. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder, deliver required material. End of conversation. This... this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any... visit, and the day has finally arrived. We see no one, ever. Your arrival is truly an historic one, but many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do, while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own ends. Right? I most definitely have never met you. A traveler, like yourself, must go many different places. You must have me confused with someone else. I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. Well, it is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. 
You see, I was an American president. Well, not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. Then you must live a remarkably interesting life. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason, their so-called mission. But what that is, and what we should do about it, is something the societies disagree about, sometimes violently. It's best you meet with the other societies, and after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Word has been sent so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Manirinas and Genghis Khan. Welcome to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp, and I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. He was, and I try to be. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. I'm for whatever side wants to keep the peace. It means that the pragmatists and I are often on the same side of things. But you might be surprised the number of times I've had to ask some of them to back off some nonsense. That's a generous offer. I might take you up on it. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. I'm hoping you come back for some repeat business. In my darkest hours, I feared that we were all that was left of humanity. Your ship, she's a beauty. It travels the stars, right? Tell me, what's it like out there? Ah, that's just how I imagine it. My name's Amelia Earhart. When I first woke up in this place, in my head, I knew all about my namesake, her life and her accomplishments. I also knew how to fly a starship. Reactor limits, thrust acceleration, vectors, and everything. In my mind's eye, I can imagine flying out there, touching heaven itself. And yet, cruelly, here I sit. <laughs> Am I that transparent? Listen, I know you owe me nothing at all. But I would do anything to get off of here. I know the societies want who knows what from you for who knows why. And I don't want to get involved in any politics. I just want, for my single self, a chance to explore. Well, you can't blame me for asking. Do you want to talk about anything else? I have a few choice unchristian thoughts about some of them. But I'm going to stay out of it. Listen, I'd understand you making any decision you have to regarding them. Any at all. 
I just hope you judge me separate. I don't wish harm on anyone. I just want to explore. Thanks for your time. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Know that you stand before Queen Amanirinas of the Kush, queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. If you don't believe me, know you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true, the great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies, and enemies. And the smells, the right scent, and I close my eyes, and I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart, my home, my kingdom. Have you no faith of your own? Something you hold to, even though it cannot be proven. It is the same with me. But I am certain. You speak to a Manirinas, reborn. If your mind and heart remain open, you will see the truth of it. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on Crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the Believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems. To bring in a new glorious age. And break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. If we could do it ourselves, we would have, years ago. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. I need you to go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please, and see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. Weapons out! They come! There will be blood!
The man from the stars. Come to see me. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Manners cost me nothing. But make no mistake, I will do whatever it takes to escape this prison. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. I would provide fresh meat for my society, so we don't get fat off the robots. Franklin and I see eye to eye on very little. But even he appreciates this. And I always hope to see some means of escape. Perhaps our luck has finally changed. <laughs> the novelty will fade. I say this from experience. So Franklin told you of us. Oh. That were clones? Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. Would it? You would know better than I. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damned robots, trying to play their roles in a broken game. The renegades will not submit, and one day we will be free. Were it that easy? I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now the robots have made a grave mistake. You. You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands. And all the societies know it. I sense fire in you. Good. You will need it. You know of the facility, yes? Go there and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. The other societies make me sick. So, you have heard from the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. And you'd let Genghis go free. He's caused more misery in Crucible than any other five clones combined. Given a chance, I shudder to think what he'd do if he was let loose. <sighs> the facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose in part or as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. 
it is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines, learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves, allow to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation, and to die when our allotted time is finished. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. Please, I beg you, listen, look, and think. Who are these people? And what would they do? I hope, for all our sake, you will come to see the light. Listen, it's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. Thank you. There's a, well, cave. Just outside town. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. I'll meet you at the cave. You came. I, I just can't take a chance. These clones, they, they're psychotic, crazy. If they find out, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. How, how did you know? But, you're right. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish, God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first serial killer, H. H. Holmes. I don't want to do this. Any of this. If you go to the facility, I know you'd find out who I am. And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they'd kill me. But no. That wouldn't be the end. Every time my new clone would appear, death, torture, pure hell. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to kill you. I just don't see a way out. I can wish it a million times, but it don't make it so. I mean, no, I guess, maybe you're right. I don't want to die. I'm, 
I'm gonna trust you, okay? Just don't tell anyone. This, this never happened. Insertion completed.
escape trajectory plotted. Mm, looks peaceful from up here, doesn't it?